So this is being called the super flower blood moon and the first lunar eclipse of this decade and the biggest super moon of the year. A lot happening here tomorrow morning is when a chance we'll get to see it here on the West Coast. It will be visible. So to talk about why this is so special and the ongoing effort to return humans to the moon, we have NASA expert Noah Petro joining us. Good morning, Noah. Noah, oh, good morning. Thanks for having me. Sure, I'm glad you're on. And uh, let's talk about first of all, you know, the super moon, the lunar eclipse, all happening at the same time. Uh, what does that mean? We'll get a chance to see how, uh, you know, how will this be viewed here? Uh, we're in California, of course. So uh, tell us about it. Yeah, you've got a great front row seat. Next uh, tomorrow morning, get up early, go watch the moon set in the western sky, and you'll see it turn this dark color as the moon passes into the Earth's shadow. And just as the moon starts to set, you'll get to see the moon turn this beautiful red color, uh, the result of the projection of all the sunrises and sunsets onto the lunar surface, a spectacular treat. And, you know, here in San Diego, we've been talking about it at 4.11 a.m. tomorrow for 15 minutes. That's when it will turn this red color, uh, the sun, the earth, the moon mm -hmm. lining up. So it's amazing. Now, for you, you know, NASA's been studying the moon in incredible detail. You've had the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter for almost 12 years. So tell us a little more detail. You know a lot more about the moon than we do. What are some mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, the interesting things that you've learned with this? But, you know, the moon is an extension of the Earth. It's the eighth continent. And what we've learned over the last 12 years is that the moon records the processes that have happened through its entire history, four and a half billion years. It's an incredible history, and it's right there, three days away for future explorers to, to go and, and sample and learn more about. What we've done from LRO is, is chart their path. Where do we want them to go, and what do we want them to do when they're there? And so for the last 12 years, we've watched the moon grow up, change underneath us. Uh, you know, I have a, an 11-year-old son. I've seen him grow and change. We've done the same thing with, with the moon. We've seen it change as we've been at the moon, new impact craters forming, uh, new features. And so it's been an exciting time, and, and I can't wait to see what the, the next several years brings with lunar exploration. That's awesome. Yeah, it's growing and changing just like our kids. I love that you describe it as another continent to the Earth, an extension of the Earth. And, you know, <laughs> now we're talking about sending humans to the moon with Artemis. They did with the Apollo program. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you guys getting ready to do next? Are humans really going to head out there? And <laughs> What are we planning to do? Absolutely. You know, we, we, we are learning from what Apollo did. 60 years ago today, President Kennedy said, I want humans to go to the moon by the end of the decade. And here we are. We, we've benefited from, from that initial set of exploration of the moon. But we want to build on that. We want to go to the south pole of the moon, a place we've never explored with humans before. We want to understand this early history. We want to understand but volatiles, if water is there, and if we can use those resources that are present at the moon to sustain a long-term presence at the moon and then go on to Mars. And so we have many questions about the way the moon has changed, not just over the last 11 years or 12 years, but over its entire history, four and a half billion years. And by going to the south pole of the moon, using that as the, the, the toehold to the rest of the solar system, one day we'll be talking about humans to Mars and, and what they'll do there in the same way we're talking about the, the preparations for return of the moon uh, with the uh, with furnace. It's incredible to see the advancements. No, I apologize. I know our audio doesn't sound great. Uh, I could talk to you about this for hours. We appreciate all the work NASA is doing, and thank you for sharing your insight, and hopefully everyone will get a chance to see this super moon flower lunar eclipse. There's a lot of names going on with this one. <laughs> thank you very much, Noah. It's a big time. Thank you. <laughs>